So Rite Aid finally filed for bankruptcy last night. It's been a long time coming. Their profit margins have been squeezed both in the pharmacy by the insurance companies and, and the other payers, but also in the front of the store by labor costs, by higher rent, by higher utility costs. So Rite Aid's profit margins have been shrinking for quite a long time. Uh, this has been speculated about for months now, and they finally filed last night. They have too much debt. A lot of their stores are in kind of smaller rural markets that just don't have the volume and the critical mass that CVS and Walgreens do in, in the big cities. And it's just, it's been a long time coming. Um, they haven't had the best management teams either. It's been a bit of a revolving door over the years. Rite Aid's gonna still continue operating as usual. They probably will close a few hundred stores over the next, you know, one to two years. But overall, they're they're gonna stay in business and keep serving the communities that they're in. Um, it's really just the equity gets wiped out and the debt gets converted to equity and to new equity, and then they end up with a better balance sheet and better cash flow. So I do think Rite Aid's bankruptcy is actually going to be positive for the industry. I think closing a couple hundred stores will reduce some excess capacity and free up uh, some labor pressure because there's a huge shortage of pharmacists and pharmacist technicians and, and even front store workers. So I think it's going to take some pressure off CVS, Walgreens, and Rite Aid themselves and be helpful for the industry.